Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Dave from Two Average Dudes. Mike is going to chime in in a second. So, uh, are you ready for the 2021 Francophone Games? I know I am. What the heck is a Francophone game? Anyway, well, <laughs> okay, they're expected to draw athletes, like global athletes, to Moncton and Dieppe, New Brunswick. New Brunswick is uh, bilingual, okay? It's French and English, officially. Um, okay, I guess the ori original price uh, for the, these games was $17 million, And somehow it's ballooned to, you know, around $130 million. Okay? Uh, so, uh, Premier uh, Higgs <laughs> said the province will not cover the extra cost, okay? Now, the province was going to pay $10 million. It's a lot of money. And <laughs> the feds were going to pay $10 million. Okay? And then, uh, was it, the municipalities uh, were going to pay 750000 each. Okay? And they've already spent uh, $2.65 million, like, to proceed on that. So that's what you get in the 2021 Francophone Games. I know I'm going to be there. Are you? No, I'm not going to be there. You know, we have the Olympics. We have the Paralympics. We have... I don't know what else we have. We have all these sporting things. And now we're having Francophone Games? Francophone Games? What about English Games? I, I think we should have the English Games. Or the Gaelic Games. You know, how about... Uh, the Italian games. I, I don't hear, like, I, I'm English, okay? Like, I, I speak English. So I don't see uh, the government uh, contributing $10 million for the English games. Like, the Francophone games, that's retarded. See, another waste of money. And, like, okay, don't get me wrong. Like, even though he is going to chump in $10, $10 million that... Uh, uh, Premier Higgs, at least he's saying if it snowballs like to this 130 or 100 million or whatever, if it snowballs too much, forget it. He's not going to do it. Good for him. Like, I don't agree with him putting 10 million into it in the first place, but good for him because that's a brain on your shoulder saying, you know what? Costs are going to spiral out of control. We got to stop it. But you know what? This is, this is the government's little secret. $10 million could go a long way for the people of Canada. Not just focused on one, like, language group. And I don't care if they get a lot of English speaking or whatever speaking in those games also. I don't care. It's the Francophone games. We have enough games. We have enough money being given away. It's time to tighten the belt and cut back on this frivolous spending of insignificance. You know... Every time I look at the news, Trudeau's throwing money here, he's throwing money there. At least this money's staying at home for a change. But normally it goes offshore. But again, waste of tax dollars. Mike, what do you think? The 2021 Francophone Games. You know, first off, Canada shouldn't even be part of these games. Okay? Yes, we're officially a bilingual country. But the mandate of the games is to employ countries that are mostly French-speaking. Mostly French-speaking. Well, guess what? Only 20% of Canadians speak French. That's not mostly. So how are we in these games? Oh, probably because we give a lot of money from the Liberal government to these games to keep us going. You know, this is a perfect example of how the Liberals work. Okay, we want the games. The old uh, New Brunswick government was Liberal. We want the games. We're going to put a ridiculous lowball bid of $17 million in. $17 million. Quebec's bid was $54 million. You know, so we get the games, and then we'll decide where the money comes from then. You know, well, since they've won the games, the government in New Brunswick now is conservative, and Higgs is saying, <laughs> no way in heck we're paying that kind of money to get the games. Now Justin Trudeau is trying to step in with his liberal government, you know, with all his culturism and worldwide globalism, and he wants these games real bad. So he's going to put up half the money. He's willing to pay $65 million to have these games going. You know, this is this is ridiculous. So the committee now, while Higgs is saying that uh, he's not going to do these games, has now come back and said, oh, wait, we're wrong at 17. You know, 
now that you won't fork, fork over the whole 130, we can do it for 65 million. So, first off, we have nobody with any intelligence trying to figure out what these games cost. 17, 130, oh wait, you're not going to fund our ridiculously bloated number, so we'll bring it down to 65 and hopefully that'll be a realistic number. This is liberal chaos at its best. We have no idea what we're doing. We're just going to throw money around to try and make this happen. And worst off, Canada shouldn't even be doing this because we're not a mostly French-speaking country. You know, the, the, and the worst part is, the worst part is, to get in the games, you don't have to speak French. No, no, no. No, no. It's all based on sporting excellence. So the majority of our athletes probably there aren't even speaking French. But come on. It's the Francophone games. I'm going to put my application now because, you know, I want to go into the cultural division of storytelling. That's right. Storytelling will get you a medal. We have song, storytelling, Dance, poetry, painting, photography. We get all the good stuff in there. This is quite the event. Quite the, quite the event to showcase Francophone people, even though the majority of them don't speak French. Good job, liberals. Way to waste our money. And you watch. The games will end up in Canada somewhere. The federal government's going to fork over $100 million to keep the games in Canada. And that money could have gone a long way to helping us here at home. Let us know what you think in the comments below, guys. And have a good one. Oh, wait. Check out our website, twoaveragedudes.com. Check out our polls, our surveys, all the new fun stuff we're adding up on there. Every Monday, new polls, results, and all that stuff. Let's, guys, let's get the truth out there. And, and, and hopefully the end of liberals federally in 2019. Have a good one, guys.